Hello boys and girls, and welcome to week two of our live lessons from home. So, today's activity, we're going to focus on using our speed and agility to move into a direction. So as you can see on the floor, I have about three different colour spots. I've got a yellow spot, a white spot and a blue spot. Don't worry if you've got any spots at home, you can use different objects you've got around the house and the person that is helping you out, instead of shouting colours, they'll shout out that object. So like I said, I've got three colours on the floor. I've got a starter marker back here. I've got Callum helping me out and he's going to shout out colours. When Callum shouts out a colour, I'm going to move to a colour, touch that colour and move back to my starter marker. And I'm going to see how many colours I can move to in one minute and set myself a score. Ready? Three, two, one. Yellow. White. Blue. Blue. Yellow. Blue. And you will keep going for one minute until the minute is up and you'll set yourself a score. Round two. We are now going to add a bit of progression in and we're going to add an extra colour. So around the house you can find another object to add in. So you now have four different colours or objects to run to. What's going to happen this time? My challenge to you is can you beat your score from the previous round? But this time we're only going to work for 45 seconds. So I'm looking at how hard you can work now to try and beat your previous score. You ready, Callum? Yes. Red. White. Yellow. Red. Blue. Blue. White. Red. And you'll work down for 45 seconds to see if you can beat all that score. Round three, this time, the person who's helping you do this activity, they'll now call two colours. We are now adding our agility into this. We're looking at how we can move direction at speed, keeping control of the body. So Callum, this time, can you shout out two colours for me, please? Red and white. Yellow and blue. Blue and red. Red and yellow. White and blue. Blue and yellow. And we'll stop there. So again, we're going to work for one minute and see how many different colours you can touch in one minute. Okay, in the final round, I want you now to take yourself a piece of equipment. This equipment can be a tennis ball, a basketball, a football. You can choose in which way you move with the ball in this round. So I'm going to move, throwing and catching the ball. So when Callum shouts out a colour now, instead of just running to the target, you're going to keep control of the ball as well. What I'm looking for is for you to move to a target, keep control of the ball, touch the target, and move back to the start position. Again, how many times can we do that? in one minute. Let's give it a go. Blue. Yellow. Red. White. Red. Yellow. And again, we'll work for one minute and see what's going to get by the end of the minute. Like we said in that activity, you may choose to basketball dribble, to a comb and then dribble back, or you may choose to put the ball on the floor and dribble towards the comb. Touch the comb and dribble back. It is your choice and you can be creative in that round there. Make sure you record your scores and let us know what scores you got throughout the four rounds. Good luck, boys and girls.